Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. So I apologize that this video has been kind of delayed mainly because I've been sick for the last 5 days and finally I'm fully recovered and ready to do all the content again. So let's dive into the Gacha page. Take a look at Cheryl's brand new Neko episode plate. Is her episode plate as powerful as Ranka's or could it be better? So let's take a look at the stats first. Oh! I see we went straight to the special notes attached to the episode plate. And immediately, you see it comes with the item note attached to it. So, if you guys aren't familiar with what the item note is, for every 10 points, which is what you can see here, a special note will appear during your play of a song. So what are these notes for? Basically if you use them during regular play instead of events and all that, the, these notes will provide you one item which is basically your standard resources that you use to power up your episode plates. So it increases your chance of getting more resources um, that you require for powering up the episode plates within your collections itself. If you are uh, lacking in terms of resources, if you guys are free to play especially, but if you're um, semi-pay like I am, uh, I have a ton of these resources. I don't really need such resources unless I happen to sell them away under the Chaos Exchange. Right now, in the current version of Uta Macross, it is possible to sell off your extra resources for in-game currency, and of course, you know, um, you know, if you just need the extra money to power up more episode plates, or maybe to buy the monthly items that you can use to feed your divas or gift your divas, so you can improve their diva um, proficiency. Yeah, so. Other than that, basically these item notes are very very essential for the current event we are going through, which is the ticketing event. And of course, when you play the event songs, uh, you need episode plates set up with these item notes attached to them so that they can summon out more item notes. And of course, at the end of the results, your, uh, your points for your event is based off how many items you actually attain through that live play itself. So that's why these episode plates with these notes are very very crucial when it comes to the first event of the month which is the ticketing event. So Cheryl's episode plates immediately surpasses Ranka's because of this particular note. But let's take a look at the stats and the skills of Cheryl's episode plate to see whether it is going to top Ranka's plate overall. So here we go. Wow! So immediately it's got the about the same total score as Ranka's, the 3800 range. Um, that is after its plus 25 luck um, stats. So yeah, then stats wise, they're all pretty balanced out, pretty much the same like Ranka's. So other than that, Pay a close attention to the three other divas who are equipable with this episode plate, just in case you are the kind of person who only uses those divas that are special towards you and don't bother with the rest of them. Alright, so center skill it is an S rank, so immediately we can tell that Cheryl's plate is also a center position plate. Hmm. So <laughs> that's pretty strange. It's pretty rare that we have both episode plates being center position plates, you know, for a single event. It has happened before where both plates end up being live skill support plates, but both being center position plates, this is a first. So units live is increases uh, by 40% up. So let's see the... Oh! Oh! Wow! So immediately we can tell Cheryl's plate is not for a high score purpose use center position plate, but it is a live skill support plate with all three skills at S rank. So its active skill 
life recovery of 50%. So it is a useful skill when it comes to clearing missions or maybe practicing difficult songs that you cannot handle. You know, that kind of stuff. So life skill, S rank as well, score repeat. So with that said, immediately you can tell this is a yellow element or star element, whichever one you want to call it by. Episode plate that is meant to be used for long duration songs, which is exactly what Neko uh, Nikki is. It is a semi long duration song. There are long, other long duration songs of the same element out there as well. So this episode plate can be useful in that aspect for attaining high score purpose. Alright, so life skill, if you guys are not familiar with what score and repeat is, here is the effect. At, for every 30 seconds, for every, so after 30 seconds, and of course it activates for 7 seconds, after the skill ends, if the song is still ongoing, after 30 seconds again, the skill activates again. So that's pretty nifty when it comes to long duration songs. So for 80% boost in score, that's pretty okay. But if you're going to use this episode plate for a short duration song, 80% won't do you any justice. That's why we always have the other skills that uh, basically do more boost in score, like 100%. And of course, we've got uh, other percentages as well. But you know, it, it's still a lot more higher than a score repeat episode plate. So yeah, so always retain these episode plates for long duration songs uh, if you're planning to do some manual um, episode plate arrangements for your diva teams for high score purposes. But I, I sincerely do not recommend doing that, especially if you don't have a lot of time. So <laughs> anyway guys, with all that said, Cheryl's plate in my personal tier rating, it is definitely a 2.5. Uh, it, it, it could be a tier 1, you know, considering that it does come with an item note. But I usually reserve tier 1s for episode plates with the score item note, which is more for high score purposes. Because, well, this these episode plates are very event based type uh, and of course resource earning um, conditions so they don't really rank as high as they should be but to be fair it is in between both tier 1 and tier 2 hence 2.5 and if you're wondering why my tier ranking is so strange it should be tier 3 the highest because numbers going highest is the best you know, but to me personally, I still think number one is should be the top, and of course two and three based off, you know how old uh, winning rankings are, I guess. <laughs> so hey guys, let's do this. I'm going to pull Cheryl's uh, gacha for a single template first, then we'll consider how we should continue after that. Alright, so here we go. Hopefully to see some loading at the beginning before the animations appear. There it is. It wasn't a very long load, so it is kind of a doubtful pool. Here we go. So animation wise, it is just there to make you feel good I suppose. But ma mainly you just have to pay attention to the loading bar. So as you can tell straight away, both blinks, we only got one single red box, so that's kind of a disappointment. Hopefully we get some new plates to at least gives me a chance to unlock Cheryl's costume with episode orbs if I wish to do so. So yeah, let's skip to the red box. Because all these commons are just duplicates for you know your secret boards and of course your costume points. Oh. So, it is not a new plate, and uh, sadly to say, it doesn't really... Uh... Okay, so we at least get two plates that belong to Cheryl's costume, that's kind of okay. There we go, so we do have two plates that have leveled up, that's pretty fantastic. Now of course, 
the four star episode played, uh, we get secret bots unlocked for it. I love this family portrait. <laughs> Although we do need more geniuses inside the, the image itself. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know. I, I would love to attain both episode plates for Cheryl and Ranka. Um, especially for Ranka. Uh, I don't know. This might be the first Ranka costume that I might not unlock on the event day itself. So, yeah. Anyways, let's take a look at this returning gacha. Um, if you guys are intending to pull this one, it is... Well, it is another one of Ranka's Neko costumes. Kind of. <laughs> the costume itself doesn't have Ranka with Neko ears. Um, normally, as you can see, she doesn't have the Neko ears. But when the costume is used for Neko Nikki, uh, the cat ears and tail will appear during the performance itself and I really love the chibi uh, Valkyrie backpack she has. You know, you can see this backpack being used by her in the TV series as well. So it's very very adorable. <laughs> um, so if you guys don't have this episode played, well, um, you might want to consider pulling this one for the costume points only because well you can tell 3643 isn't exactly the top tier total stats it, it is still pretty decent but it is an old episode plate as of now so if you guys are just fans of Ranka like I am you know and you wish to attain the illustration for this episode plate you might want to reconsider pulling this episode uh, rather this gacha mainly because well Dana has been issuing out a lot of free gacha pulls um, ever since the second anniversary has passed and you will be able to obtain new and old episode plates from those free pulls uh, eventually you might get those that you probably missed out on on those uh, exclusive featured gachas like we currently have for Shara and Ranka. So guys, be thrifty. Don't fall into temptation to purchase singing stones and pulling these gachas uh, just because you have to have it now. If you're the kind of person who has the stamina to play mobile games for a long duration of time like I have. I've been playing Utah Cross since its start to its current um, date. Well, eventually your collection ends up pretty nice <laughs> with all the free stuff that Dana gives out for Utah Cross fans. So yeah, um, but of course if you're the kind that's impatient and you just want to have it because she's your waifu, that kind of stuff, you might want to consider again because you are impatient and you might not play the game anymore in the future. Is the money really worth it if you're not going to be playing the game anymore? So think about that. <laughs> anyway guys, um, I'm going to do two more pulls for each Ranka and Cheryl in hopes to get you know more costume points or at least the episode plates so here we go guys i'm starting off with cheryl first because hers is kind of better than ranka's although i do want to unlock ranka's costume as well so here we go i have enough to do template pools for both which is 1000 singing stones which i will still have 300 remaining for next next event um, for the middle of the month event um, but you know that's till then <laughs> so let's do this guys hopefully second times the charm or third times the charm who knows okay we didn't get any loading so that's a very bad sign so I don't know maybe we'll get four episode plates that's fine as well evolving five star plates is also pretty good. 
Alright, skipping all the common stuff. Here we go, the first red box. So no evolution to the box. Wow, I've been seeing a lot of this clan episode played recently. Uh, I guess this is the season to have, you know, Zentra Deans in your collection. <laughs> so here we go, second one. Wow, <laughs> this is a full featured clan clan gachapu. I mean, I love myself some clan, but this is really too much. <laughs> Okay, so that was nice in its own way. Some lolly love going on there. Okay, so Ranka then. Hopefully the waifu shall show me some love. I don't know. It's been pretty bad since that last video. <laughs> I mean, I did well on a non-featured gacha, but... Ah, uh, you know, we won these new plates. Did we, did we get some loading there at the beginning? I, I kind of missed on it. Oh no. Oh no. This is horrendous. Okay. Oh. Oh. I don't think I have this plate of Kaname's. Hmm. Okay. Oh no, it's that plate! <laughs> Here we go! Oh! Well, it's an old episode plate, but it's pretty nice to see um, side characters being featured. So... ah, So, nothing special, but we do get a bit more points for the costume, so that's kind of a bummer. So, <laughs> alright, so hopefully you guys had way better luck than I do as always. You know, you know how horrible my pools are. You guys have physical proof from all my videos. But, you know, sometimes we get blessed uh, in, in no, not in convent, unconventional means. Um, maybe through like... Um, non-featured gachas and all the, all the luck goes there then when i do the featured gacha videos i get horrendous pulls <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching as usual let me know how you guys did with your own pulls in the comments down below leave a like to the video if you appreciate the content or even if you enjoyed the content and watching me do horrendously in my own personal gacha. And subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet. And I will see you guys in the next Uta Macross video. Or maybe if you're interested, um, after this video, I'm uploading the um, my first ever review for a show. Um, this time round, I'm doing a review of Weathering with you. Or if you guys are familiar with the Japanese title, it's Tenki no Ko. So yeah, look forward to that. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!